Hey, my wonderful Cancers. This is TC, your guiding chariot. Big hello to all my ride or dies out there. Um, and also, happy birthday, Cancers. It is our season. Woot woot. All right. Um, I'm not going to make you guys wait for it. Um, this is our usual reading. This is going to be for July for all Cancers, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, this is a general reading, so take it how it resonates. Don't try to force any messages. Um, although this is the July reading, we all know time is an illusion, so this could apply to you at any moment. So whenever you find this video, that's your moment. Um, but all I ask, don't try to force any messages. If there's a part that doesn't fit, leave that on the table, take everything else. All right? Let's get into it. What is, oh, I saw you flip in there. We had a flipper. I saw you. There you are. Oh, okay. So Cancer, right out the gate. Queen of Cups. Your energy starting off, or our energy, right out of the gate. Now, Queen of Cups. Especially this Queen of Cups. Like, let me, let me let you, like, take her in. Can we focus? There we go. So this Queen of Cups, you know, is, I don't want to say she's blank, but doesn't she look like she's kind of in herself, right? Like she's she's looking out, but she's not necessarily looking. I'm trying to think how best to describe it. But there's a there's a almost kind of detachedness to her energy as she's kind of pondering and like she's not completely there. And I will say part of that I think because our our energy probably feels that same way. Like, we're, we're active, we're engaged, we're present in our daily lives, but something's missing. There's a part of us that is elsewhere. There's a part of us that is dealing with, you know, some of these depths, what's going on down in these waters, right? Right? So, a lot of us, probably in our feels, you know, when I say us, because you know me, I'm a double cancer, so when I'm talking to you guys, legit, I'm talking to me. Um, but yeah, some of us might be in our hearts a little bit and in our feels and overthinking things and that might be making us feel certain ways or, or behave in certain ways because we may be feeling a certain way. Not a bad thing, but definitely something that needs to be, you know, pushed through, right? And then look at this. So seven of pentacles and, I was gonna say an Aries, but it's the emperor. <laughs> But we know it is a card of Aries. For some of us, it could be an Aries. You know, first thing I want to say, like right out the gate, and this isn't this wasn't necessarily meant to be a love reading, but we're already we're already in our feels. Some of you may be missing missing this this divine masculine. Doesn't and you know don't let the genders fool you just because this is a queen and just because this is the emperor doesn't mean those are the appropriate genders. So take it as an energetic. Here we have a, a divine feminine. Here we have a divine masculine. Uh, you know, the divine masculine, especially with the emperor, possibly in Aries. But there's this seven of pentacles energy where we're just kind of waiting. And I think this is where that in the feels moment is coming from, especially from you, Cancer. So there's a good chance you're the divine feminine here, kind of wondering and waiting and kind of reflecting. But I want to say with this seven of pentacles coming up, it's kind of like the hell why am I still waiting I didn't do all of this just to sit and wait so we're wondering where this emperor is right for some of us this may even have to do with your own kind of leadership abilities for some of us I see you flipping we're gonna take you okay we're gonna talk about that in just a second that's gonna take me off off where I was going to go. But this emperor, for some of us, it could be your own kind of natural leadership qualities. For those of you who maybe this is relating to a work opportunity or creating or building something. Um, I don't think it's completing something. It, it feels something new. Like it does feel like this is something being created or some type of personal project that you're spearheading. If this isn't a relationship, let me put that out. Um, so for those of you, this could kind of be kind of stepping into your own power, right? Kind of getting over the, 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 the want to like shrink back or that, you know, 
it's like something you want to do and then the opportunity comes and then you know you're forced into the, into the spotlight and you're like oh no no mm, 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 i don't feel I don't, nah, i'm gonna hold that up a little bit more this is really about you getting to that point where you're like you know you know what all in and you just kind of push through if this is a work thing so to me this this waiting is kind of for you to kind of get the the like chutzpah get the get the gumption up to just kind of fully engage and fully dive in and be be the leader that you really are needed to be in this scenario however for majority of you i do think this has to do with a relationship here we have the ten of cups coming out right after that and i mean that's what we're waiting for right that's what the seven pentacles were like i know this is coming i know i deserve this i know i've earned it i know there's someone who's going to share this with me whether i'm with them right now or not i know this has my name on it where is it i've been i've been doing all the all the do i planted all the seeds i did all the stuff i needed to do where's this ten of cups for me where is it what's happening bottom of the deck right now is king of wands so more fire energy to go along with this emperor so you know, if you don't know who this person is, you know, and we're just we're just waiting for, for the soulmate to come along, good chance he's a fire sign, very good chance he's an Aries. And again, don't let the ginger hang you up. Really doesn't mean anything. We're talking energies here. But you can totally take that as confirmation that that ten of... Okay. Nope, you're not coming. Okay. Oh, you know what? I just can't. You just, you're sticking out. We're gonna save you. For some reason, you're not, you're not next. But we're gonna talk about you. I don't know. You know what? We'll just, we'll just put you with the Aries. I don't know why. We're gonna, we're gonna save that one. We'll get to him. Okay. It like jumped out and then fell back in. Like it was the weirdest thing. And I was like, well, you guys are just flipping today. Okay. We've got Page of Swords coming through. So again, kind of this idea that this Emperor is someone new. So there's a good chance you don't know him yet. Um, this could be... <sighs> could be an air sign. Could be. I think fire holds a lot more weight, though. Um, but he could just be, this could just be indicative of being the masculine for you, and this could be an air sign. I think the qualities here with the Page of Swords really have to do with this person being just fresh and, and, you know, think of them as, as, you know, maybe they're, they're a little rebellious. They're not necessarily your normal or your status quo or what you would expect. You know, they shake things up a little bit. Um, they can definitely be unexpected, um, and not just them showing up is unexpected. Like they can just, you know, have just kind of do things just out on, on a whim, out of surprise that you'd never think of, or so um, unusual in a good way. Like they're such an outside of the box type of person, and just unique, and they're such an individual in so many ways. That is the, the kind of special magic about them while still having all these qualities of the Emperor. And now I'm curious what this bad boy is. Oh my god. Absolutely love this. So we get the Ten of Cups and then this little mystery card that wanted to stay hidden and tuck itself away. Ten of Pentacles. When I say this is big, that you have earned this and you should know that this is coming to you, Cancer. You should know it. Oh my god, we're going to put those two together. Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. So not only... Not only are you getting the... Oh, I can't bend my wrist that far back. Look at that. Um, not only are you getting the happily ever after you wanted, it's going to be something that lasts generations. You're building such a abundant foundation. Such a just unique, special... I almost want to say it's almost like it's almost like your own world, so to speak with this Ten of Pentacles. There's there's like this entire realm you're kind of making happen and making so wonderful and special. Even if you look at the cards, it's kind of like you have this, you know, happy couple with their two kids. And then the Ten of Pentacles is the progression. Like this could be the same couple, here's the family. This could even be, you know, the, the male in this couple now grown old and, you know, creating, you know, now their children are adults, creating another family, like, 
big, 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 huge, like literally the happily ever after. And this Page of Swords, again, just kind of talks about how this person just kind of blows in and just, I want to use the word disrupts and look, I didn't even see this till just now, bottom of the deck. You have the Empress, Empress and Emperor. I'm telling you, we're putting them together. This person just, when I say disrupts, it's kind of like, you know this person's coming. You know they're out there. We don't know who they are, but we just know they're coming. We know they're out there. And literally, this once this person comes in, everything changes. Like, this person shakes up everything in such a beautiful way, way like way bigger than you were expecting it, way bigger than you probably could even dream, which is wonderful. And I think it's because this energy is just new and it's different and it's alive and fun. And got two more flippers. Yeah, see, two of swords right there. So when I say this person is unexpected, they come out of nowhere. You know, it's like you can't even see them. They just kind of, they're not there, and then all of a sudden they're there. Judgment. All right. So, I was actually going to say something. And I, honestly, that's not what I'm feeling anymore. So originally I was going to say this judgment card speaks to the two of you. Like, once you guys are united, it speaks to this shift. But I will say, we were just talking about the masculine, and now I'm looking at the judgment card. And I want to say that this this masculine is going through some 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 sort of rebirth let's say they're going through some type of shift to prepare them for this moment because literally this person shows up ready right because he's coming in as the emperor he shows up ready this isn't someone who you meet you you hang out and then over time you guys you know learn to deal with each other and learn how to support each other and it kind of builds from from the ground up like this person comes in and is ready now i'm not saying they're going to be perfect and you know will know what you think before you even think it like that's not what i'm saying but like the connection and the like what this person wants out of relationship how they interact with their their lover is going to be exactly what you had hoped for like they just come in and it's a perfect fit from day one so this person, you're, this masculine that you're waiting for, Cancer, you know, yes, they're going to come out of nowhere, but they, they are going through a, a rebirth, and I think they're doing this right now. This is why, this is why the wait, right? Because we know you're ready here with this Queen of Cups. You're in your element. We know this already. This person is just getting to the point where he's ready, or to where he's at the same, where you're a good match, where you're at the same vibration. You know, this is the second time I've seen King of Wands, bottom of the deck. So, you're on more fire energy. But it's also indicative of, of his initiative, is what I kind of want to say. Because you think of the King of Wands, fueled by fire, they're passionate. But this is a master of those energies. So if he, not if, when, when he sees you, when you meet, when all of this falls together, you know, he's not going to wait. He's not sitting back. Oh, hold on a second. One of these days, I will remember to put my phone on silent. <laughs> um, but again, so I think it's just indicative of his initiative. Like the second he sees you, be like, oh, mine. He or she is mine. That's mine. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's mine. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go tell that person that they're mine. That cancer, ooh, mine. Mine, 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 mine. I want to spend the rest of my days with with this cancer, because I know that cancer is my happily ever after. Like, I'm tell- ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna stop there, because I'm getting too excited. But, beautiful, beautiful energy. So I would say cancers, especially my single cancers, because this definitely feels like, this, this feels like a pair that's in separation. And like I said, I do think this is someone new. I would say for majority, this is someone new. Now, could it could it possibly be someone who's returning? Maybe. We've got a lot of retrogrades going on. Um, I will say just be very careful if that happens. Make sure, you know, make sure you're really kind of doing your, your investigation. Uh, if this is someone returning, 
And again, this is only for a small group of you, but if, if it is for someone returning, they are going to come in completely different. Completely different. They're going to come back and not, not be the same individual they were. I, w I almost want to say that their char the characteristics and their personality hugely different. Like almost to the point where you may not even recognize them anymore. This, because like when I say this person has gone and is kind of finishing up some type of rebirth here, there is a huge shift in this individual. So if this is someone returning, if someone comes back and they're doing their same little games and talking the same way they did and, and you know, using the same kind of logic and all, all of that, they're not the one. They are not the one, all right? Because this is, this looks big cancer very 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 big all right we are going to pull an animal card and then we will get some uh guidance from these little mini babies over here oh cancer Ooh, okay. oh i'm just i'm trying to think of what, what i could even say and it's so funny i like i wasn't sure what i was going to pull today and I, I literally was like taking a nap before I started recording and like I had a dream with this little cat, little green cat, which is it's what made me want to take the animal cards. But I love in this like judgment card as you know, this rebirth is happening down here. There's this owl kind of looking out and watching over the whole situation. So I, f I find it funny, you're my first reading of this season or of this series and I, I needed to pull animal cards and there's an animal guardian literally right there. I just think it's cute when stuff like that happens. She loves synchronicities. Actually, okay, so we're going to take, I don't want to take the top, but I feel like we're, we need to do this one, whatever it is, as I pick up the two of one. Ooh, that's such a great image. Look at that. So we got lion cancer. Prompt reads power, loyalty, leadership, and family. I love this. So I will say, to me, especially since we got the Emperor card. Now, of course, this is the card for Aries, not Leo. It'd be so funny if it was Leo card. But with this energy, the keywords in Lion are leadership and family. I, when I tell you this person is coming in, coming in like committed, ready, wanting to, wanting to make you the happily ever after, wanting to, you know, build something with you. I mean it they're gonna come in already with that commitment and already with that intention. Like this is not someone you have to figure out. And look, this is card number 11 as well. Ooh, Cancer. Okay, we're gonna pull a few of these magic cards. If anything, Cancer, if you guys have been in this energy I was talking about through maybe, maybe through just recently after the eclipse, because we just had an eclipse in our sign, so especially our rising cancers out there watching this video, you definitely could be feeling feeling it at least the past couple days. Take this reading as confirmation that what you've been working on, what you've been manifesting, what what you feel like has been missing, and I, I say that intentionally, it just feels like it's missing. You're not, you're definitely not disconnected to it. It's probably, it's probably feeling even heavier now because it's so close, because you can feel that pull all right so take this as confirmation don't let that feeling bring you down don't let that feeling kind of hold you in a low vibrational space okay you know you kind of just have to kind of accept that energy and for me what always helps is if i think about is there anything that i i physically can do about this situation right now and if the answer is no, then I'm just wasting time and being mopey. And sometimes you need to be mopey. I put on a sad movie, shed a few tears, and I'm ready to c c carry on. You know, like, so sometimes you might have to do that. Take a step back for, for a little bit, listen to your music, watch a movie, and then get back into it once you're, once you're feeling better. Because again, I, I tell you, as much of a cliche as it is, and all the people who have even told me, like, it'll come when you're least expecting, and you'll find it when you stop looking for it, I'm telling you, there's no way you can see this person coming. There's no prep work that you can do or need to do. So any thoughts you're having like that, don't even worry about it. Like, just don't. 
let's, I feel like doing three. Why not? So I will say, Cancer, you may feel connected to all three of these. You may feel connected to maybe just a few. Take it how you will, all right? So first symbol, we have fairy magic. Let's see if we can get this to focus. I wonder if I can read it off the camera. Respectfully work with the fairies and elementals to achieve your goals. So if you guys are, you know, really attached to fairy magic or even, you know, natural magic, maybe, maybe just having a moment out in nature. I personally feel most connected if I'm, you know, hiking or down in the ocean at the beach. So maybe take a little moment for yourself to reconnect. Um, ground with a tree, like anything like that outdoors might be very, very helpful for you if that's something that, you know, you're connected to. This is nice. Successful career. A happy working environment, pay raises, and promotions. So at the beginning I did talk about if this was a work thing, not a romance thing. So for those of you, if you, for those of you where this is a work thing or some type of opportunity, again, getting yourself into that emperor energy, that leadership mindset will pay off, but it does require you to be a leader. This is not about you hanging out in the back anymore. You need to take and own that leadership position. And again, no matter what storyline this is for you, time to shine. Create the energetic resonance for golden opportunities. Love this. To me, you know what that is, what that's indicative of? It's about the mindset. It's literally about the mindset. What are you putting out there? Like, if this is work, this is about you knowing that you can play that top dog role, that you have the strength, the innovation, the creativity, the knowledge, the insight, you know, the, the people skills, the management skills. You have everything you need to be successful in that role, and you will be. And ultimately, we know that's where you're headed. And, you know, for those of you where this is romance, because I think that's most of you out there, Cancer, again, Yes, we, you might feel sad. I was going to say we, because it's true. I've been feeling it. Um, might feel sad, might feel lonely, might feel, you know, put any adjective you want in there. But that's not the energy that's going to attract this person, right? Right. So again, it's about that shift. How do we get out of there? Because again, we need to be shining bright for them to see us, to recognize us. So we're that beacon, right? Some of you, and this is, I'm kind of just throwing this out there, um, but some of you that maybe are really feeling it and feeling... I don't want to say helpless, but, you know, essentially, you know, feeling like there's not much you can do outside of this waiting, and the waiting is just, you know, a little much at the moment. Um, think about, because this, like, when I say this person is going through some type of awakening here with this judgment card, they are, you know, I honestly think you're already connected to this person energetically. I think most of us don't know who this person is, but it doesn't mean we're not connected. So you can also spend some time in meditation or even in nature and send them some good, you know, some good vibes, some healing vibes. Because I almost wonder if they may be wrapping something up, whether it be karmic, whether it just, you know, they are committed to something else and they're kind of free, they're in the process of freeing themselves from it. Send them, send them your support, send them your thoughts, send them your love, send them, just sending them good positive energy will help to speed this process up because the sooner they get out of this the sooner they can you know be reunited in this right and then the sooner the, the waiting is over <laughs> all right so super super positive reading absolutely excited for us all cancers again to my july cancers coming up happy birthday happy happy birthday i am also july cancer so you know, I know it's a crazy world we're living in right now, but I hope you find ways to celebrate and enjoy this season. Take care of yourselves. I love you. As always, thank you for coming and watching these videos and supporting my channel. Um, I appreciate all the likes, comments, and subscriptions. You guys are amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I love you. Take care, and I will see you in your next video. Take care, Cancers.